so it's perfectly clean. It's black. Is there any way where to put packs and stuff? And Dallas, I got a knock knock joke. Say, you started. How is that going to work, Dallas? Come on. He's <laughs> here.
final shot on him. Let it rip, and right as I did, he spun. So, we're guessing it's, we don't know really. It's only about that much. Maybe, maybe just the broadheads in it, you know, from what it looks like on the arrow. But, uh, so we're gonna follow this trail. See if it gets any better. Our guess is it's probably just a nick. Unfortunately, that was a good <laughs> little setup that happened, but it didn't pan out the way you needed it to. So we'll follow this and see what happens. What just happened? Well, bull, uh, we got on top of a bull, followed him a little bit through the trees, but we're not fast enough. He got to the, the pinch point before we did, and we didn't really, we were looking at his butt as he was looking at us, and he was running away. So it was all butts and snow. So, you know, it's the only elk we got on this morning, only one we really heard that got close to the draw we're in but there's about 80 head of elk over there on the end of a ridge and uh, it's just my style to go kill one over there uh, I feel like we've been playing it safe and cautious all day it's not really my thing especially with elk I just want to go right at them it's killing me what's the good of fitness if you're just gonna stand around so Maybe it's a little hard-headed and impatient, but like that's what we did yesterday with Jordan. That's, that's what I want to do. That's the kind of hunt I want. I want to just run at them. So they're over there. I'm going to push to go over there. We'll see, see what the rest of the company wants to do. So, but it's still early, dude. It's still hunting time. All right, we're pump. filling up the uh, Watermaster rafts, the Kodiaks, <laughs> and we're dumping into the canal here in the, behind this farmer's field. There's a ton of elk in it. We can't figure out how to get in there, but we figure if we float in there, like absolute hunting warriors, then uh, <laughs> we, will, we will be able to get in the perfect position to whack an elk tonight. <laughs> You know what, even if you guys like tip over or hey, we don't, don't even don't see an elk, us. we don't need that. So we're gonna see at the least elk. you guys said we did elk ops. All right guys, we've got something crazy going on right now. Um, <laughs> the elk are about maybe 1,500, 2,000 yards that way, right along the canal, like bow range. We're gonna float, paddle, wade that way, come out, Oh, it's work. There you go. So we're looking for a mission accomplished on this one case. So there is no, an elk will die. Um, Aaron, any, any words of advice for anybody watching this? I don't know. 
It's a tough one. Uh, I'm panicking. <laughs> so, well, Casey and I are going down this. So it should be interesting. The two jackasses standing up trying to fling arrows at the same time. How's your balance? I saw him yesterday go straight into a three foot deep hole and he pulled it off like a man. He didn't even touch his hands to the ground. They're getting their belts in. Seriously though, not kidding you. Brian is waiting them right now. This is so <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna turn this over to Casey. All right, mission launch. Wish us luck. <laughs> We're floating. This is, this is our setup. Aaron, we're going the wrong way. Oh, am I supposed to look at where we're going? I don't know what we're doing, but we're going in circles. If this works, we may be making history. You think anybody else has done this? No, he said no. What were you saying? There's a... A fine line between hard ass and dumb ass. And we're walking that line. Yes. Are we closer to the hard ass side or the dumb ass side? So the cool thing is, is we've got elk on both sides of the canal. So once we figure out where they're at, we can pop out on that side, ambush. It looked like a really good, like it was going to work great, the wind was good. We floated all the way in. Aaron, Casey, and myself spread out along the bank about 100 yards apart. There was about 200 elk moving toward us, just feeding their way. We were probably 20 minutes from taking a shot. And they ran off. And they kind of settled a little bit, and then they ran off again, and then they went really far. And they keep staring at the neighboring property next door, and they are just, they won't let it go. We got, we got, our hunt got buggered. Um, they never looked at us, never looked at the canal. The wind never really blew too in their direction. So, looks like we just got bad luck with the neighbor happens I guess it's you know it's funny you could say it's public land but it's not <laughs> it's a little tiny tiny piece of private land that's just it you don't want to spook them off this little tiny piece of property because once they leave it they're gone and they might stay away for the rest of the season we only got a few days so we got to be careful we can't be just pushing elk off of it we got to 
kind of the healthy edges of it and keep the wind good and, and wait wait for our opportunity so hopefully they'll they're just up there dude I don't know how many there are there was like 400 and something in the field yesterday I'd say there's somewhere I'd, I'd say there's 300 today 250 something yeah. like that not as many but they also came down the hill right at dark too a lot of and we're still like an hour and 20 minutes from dark so Dallas and I are just sitting here like do we go do we stay Aaron, Casey buggered off. Went back for dinner. We probably should get going too. It's hard to leave. I help might come. Might walk over here. Can't kill him from the cabin. Or the raft. Or the raft. <sighs> Frustrating. With private land, you have to deal with this. I guess just like public uh, hunters on the adjoining land came in and uh, I don't know what they were thinking. The wind was blowing straight from them to the entire herd and uh, now they're up on the hillside. They ran away and so we had to paddle up river all the way back. <laughs> and as you can see, we're back. So our game plan tomorrow is we're going to bed early tonight. We're waking up even earlier. We're gonna pack all the food in the house, all the warm stuff in the house, and we're gonna go and sit in that blind all day because there was giant bulls, 10 yards. In that blind. And I think this is the rescue crew. All right, folks, so um, we had all the elk. They ran away because the neighbor they ran up the hill, they bedded down. Casey and Aaron wanted to leave because they didn't think they were coming. I wanted, I wanted to stay. So I did, about a half hour. It was about an hour before dark, so I thought, well, you know, maybe I ought to just tough it out and stay because the elk might come back. And you can't kill them from the cabin. And so then Dallas said, dinner sounds good. And I thought, you know, let's just let's just call it a night we get back to the cabin good night and all the elk come within shooting distance of so there you have it i should have stayed should have stayed till dark dinner tempted me so i'll have to try to kill one tomorrow Thank you for watching this gritty film. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I've got some good news for you. We're kicking off five weeks of gritty hunting films and we're calling this thing the open season. Folks, I have some amazing partners and they've all decided to chip in to give me some stuff to give to you. For the next five weeks, we got Mountain Ops, we got Leupold, we got Sitka, we got Yeti, we got Hoyt, we got Crispy. We got Black Eagle. But wait, we're not done yet. We're also gonna give away some Kafaru and some Garmin gear as well. Folks, that's more than $20,000 in gear. I can't thank my partners enough. There are five ways to win every week. First, like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment below, and then, Stalk us on Facebook and Instagram because that's what those apps are for. Next, go to briancall.com and sign up for our newsletter and you will be entered to win a brand new Hoyt bow. And finally, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Listen to the Gritty Podcast and leave us a review on iTunes. At the end of the five weeks, we're going to give away a sweet Kafaru pack and a Garmin inReach to some lucky winner. For all the open season details, go to briancall.com forward slash open season. And as always, stay gritty.